Well, hello, it's Rochelle. Welcome to another Bible journaling process video. Today I'm going to be using Ella Roots's printable um, Be a Light, and it is on Matthew 5. Um, and a, the passage is called Salt and Light. And these printables are just so adorable and bright. Um, it has a lot of yellow in, which I have to admit is not my favorite color, uh, but we make it work. Um, so I'm going to be placing the printables underneath and tracing it um, as close to the passage that I wanted it to as possible. So you'll see that I didn't uh, let it hang all the way down. I kind of traced it up there because the passage is high up in my Bible. Um, I am tracing in the details very lightly um, so that I can erase them after I have uh, outlined them with my micron pen. Uh, I've been in a bit of a slump uh, this morning trying to figure out what to do uh, because I haven't created for about two weeks with preparing for our conference and uh, doing my real job. <laughs> And so um, I'm taking my time, having a coffee, looking at the printable. Um, wouldn't bore you with all the cutout, so I fussy cut this and uh, sped it up just a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to be placing this city at the bottom of my page. Um, the verse speaks about a city on a hill that isn't hidden, and likewise, we shouldn't be hide our light away. Uh, some more coffee. These things are important, you know. This is a Xyron sticker maker. So it um, puts like a double-sided tape on the back of your image. Um, I'm taking Faber-Castell big brush pens um, and just smearing them. And because my surface is gessoed, it smears quite easily if you do it shortly after you've laid down the color and so i'm just uh, taking off the back or peeling off the back of this sticker um, and laying it down and then seeing where i'm missing some color and smearing that around so i've taken this light yellow and outlined um, on the outside of the bulbs um, put some color um, but you'll see me taking the darker one because the light one was just a little too light and i wanted to pop um, a bit more. Obviously cleaning my fingers because the ink builds up on your fingers and then gets quite dirty. Um, not just on your fingers but then on the page if you smear and smear um, and your color might be a bit distorted then. I love this gray. Um, I think it is just the most beautiful color. Or the absence of color. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's pretty and so I'm just drawing in the details um, from the traceable or the printable that I traced and uh, adding the much thinner wires with a black micron pen uh, these don't bleed, bleed through um, just don't like erase your pencil marks over the micron pen while the micron pen is still wet or freshly laid down because you will smear it. And so I'm creating some shadows on the one side um, just by laying down the black and then quickly smearing it with my finger um, to make it a little smudgy <laughs> on the sides to make it look like shadows. And so my Bulbs aren't nearly as beautifully realistic as uh, Ella's, but I quite like the way it looks. Um, so I'm going to take that Be A Light. Um, and I couldn't see precisely, but luckily there was another uh, copy of it in yellow, so I could kind of trace and um, follow the template. Love this word Fetty. Um, and so I decided to sort of copy the verse uh, in a paraphrase using the sticker maker. 
it's just a lazy way of using double-sided tape, seriously. <laughs> um, so it's a nice to have, definitely not a necessity to have. Um, but I was thankful for it. Um, so I'm cutting out some of the words that I would need to write down a city on a hill um, cannot be hidden. And so should your light, you should let your light shine. At the time that this video is being posted, you still have time to enter Ella Ruta's giveaway on her um, uh, Facebook and Instagram. If you like and share the post um, and buy for 50 Rand, which let me tell you, you can buy a lot for 50 Rand. I've had to wait for her to issue some new printables before I could get 50 Rand spent. Uh, she's really affordable. And so I'm grateful. Um, wanted to just bring the yellow into the other side of the page. Um, and uh, that's where I use the washi to put it on that side. And I felt it completed the page a bit more. Now, yellow splatters using the big brush pen. I put it down on my non-stick craft mat. Add some water to it. And I just went to town <laughs> with the splatters and cleaned because I'm like that <laughs> and always date your page and I've got a little catalog where I write what I do on which, which day so if you like this video please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications of future videos